Hello everyone. In today video we will learn how to configure new user, admin roles, administrative roles and I will also give you brief introduction of authentication profile and sequence. So to configure the new user in your in your Palo Alto firewall uh, you need to go under device and here under local user database you can create the user then click on add and first we have to give the name so here we can give the name new user and then you can create a password for that user new so at the rate one two three now user has been created so next we are going to create an administrative role for this user for example if you have like uh, like several employees joined your company and each employee you want to create a separate uh, roles for each and every employee in that case you can create a uh, administrative role for each and every user before that we need to create the admin role under admin role we will configure what are the access you are going to profile that is specific user for example we can create a new new role here okay i am creating a new role new admin role and i am not going to provide access in this role i am removing dashboard ACC and next uh, if you want we can remove other stuff policies okay so this this user will not able to access dashboard ACC and policies then click on ok and next we we are going to create an administrator for this new user so to do so we click on add now give the same username new user authentication profile we'll discuss this later and currently we are going to use same password new user two three so in administrator types here we have two option one is dynamic and the role based under dynamic uh, like uh, you have uh, two three option for example super user if you are selecting super user then that user will have all the access then we have super user read only access then that user will only access that user will have only read only access and that user will not able to configure anything in your firewall then device administrator device administrator will also have all the access and next we have the read only access for the device administrator uh, so it will have only read only access but we have created we are going to use here role based so we are going to select role based and then we can select that profile we have created new admin role okay and then click on okay after making all these changes then we need to click on commit now commit is successful so currently you can see in top bottom we have logged in right now with admin so we are going to first log out so we can log in by by using new user credential okay so we'll use new user and the password one two three login so here you you will able to see like uh, new separate window will be created for this new admin role okay so now we can see only monitor object network and device we are we cannot see the dashboard we cannot see the policies we cannot see the acc because we haven't given the access for those types that's why 
we can see only monitor objects network and device only so we can see we can do only these configuration changes and that user can do only these configuration changes okay so next we are going to discuss about the authentication profile how we can create a separate pro profile for your for your user so i am going to log in by using admin user here okay <clears throat> so uh, under administrator we can see we have created a new user and we have defined the role and we also have an option authentication profile here so uh, for example if you want to authentic authenticate your user from the radio server tech server or ad server ldap server in that case you have to create an authentication profile for that user currently we are going to use a local database because we don't have uh, right now we don't have any radio server or any other remote server so that's why we are going to uh, create a administrative uh, authentication profile for local database only okay so we can create an authentication profile then click click on add give new user auth profile under authentication here under authentication you can see here we have several option local database radius ldap tech x plus saml and kerberos we don't have a, these server radius and this remote server so we are going to use a local database for this authentication profile and next under advance we need to go under advance here we have to select the user you want to add we have uh, we have two option see we we have created a new user or all currently we are going to select all if you want you can select it for a for that specific user you have created in your palo alto firewall but i am selecting as a all then click okay and next we have the authentication sequence here if you want to authenticate uh, authenticate your user by using several remote server or several for example if you have radiate radius server ldap server saml server so you can create a sequence for each server and if the if that user is not getting authenticated for that for example if you have created a sequence like radius tech and saml so first it will check with the radius server if that server is uh, if that user is not getting authenticated with the radius then it will be moved to next one and next it will verify with the tech x and if that user will not get authenticated with that tech x then it will go to next one that is saml so here like for example we can create a new user uh, uh, let's create new user auth sequence auth sequence okay and here we can map that authentication profile that you have created okay so under authentication profile uh, we we haven't added like uh, we 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 selected only uh, local type database so you can create a separate authentication profile and that you can add it in under authentication sequence for example we can create a uh, new auth profile and here i am going to selecting radius and then you have to create a radius server profile also i don't have any radius server profile right now so i will not able to create but in but if uh, like if you want to create you can follow the these step and that that authentication profile you can add it here okay just you, you need to click and here you will get that option okay so i'm not creating it right now click okay and then commit
now commit is successful so again we'll log out now we'll try to log in with our new user new user and the now you can see it is getting authenticated by only local database I think we can also verify these logs I'm not sure okay we haven't selected the monitor so that's why we are enabled uh, okay so we have the monitor let's see whether we can see the system logs for this okay so here we can see our user with the source IP address is getting authenticated and the username is new user it is getting authenticated by using local database if you have any radius server or tacax or saml server so in that case you will be able to see that user with all the details so that's all about this video in next video <clears throat> next video we will try to configure we will try to verify our network configuration so how we can configure each uh, <clears throat> interfaces for example ethernet 1 slash 1 1 slash 2 and how we can connect these interfaces with end devices and we will also try to do some routing also we'll connect some pc and we'll try to ping and we'll try to do like uh, we'll create some interface management profile we'll ping and verify all the logs for those those packets so that's all about this video thanks for watching